uh, passengers, victims taken to hospitals across New Jersey in this crash. The most numbered and uh, the most seriously injured center, News 12 New Jersey's Karen Lee is there right now. Karen. Well, Kurt, since we last spoke with you, we saw more people trickling out of Jersey City Medical Center. These are the people that hospital staff are calling the uh, walking wounded. These are 40 people. They were less injured and brought here by an NJ Transit bus and were treated at a triage center, a temporary triage center set up in the cafeteria. We saw everything from sprains, cuts, bruises. There were bandages uh, around hands and arms and also people just who had whiplash. But all of these people people still immensely shaken up. You can only imagine what they were going through. We actually spoke with one person. He was actually in the first car of that train and says he was standing in the vestibule when all of this happened. It was a loud bang. Yeah, it just it just seemed like it didn't stop. And then the, the uh, lights went out and then the roof just came down on it. Now that man describes people helping each other. He says passengers actually made way so people who were bloody and appeared to be more injured, they would be able to leave first. He said people were ducking back into the aisles and the bathroom so that these injured would be able to get out first. So people helping people. Now, in addition to these 40 walking wounded, we also have three people who are seriously injured. We're told they have orthopedic or internal injuries. There's also eight others who are facing injuries that are not as serious but being evaluated they're trying to figure out if in fact they need to go to an operating room or to an ICU we're expecting an update from hospital staff in just a few minutes and we will bring that to you once we get it for now reporting from Jersey City Medical Center Karen Lee News 12 New Jersey